Hello good people of YouTube, Nomben here, and today we have some interesting changes coming to the game, coming to, to some ships in the game, and then some very interesting global changes coming to the game that I think are in response to the last season of Clan Wars. So I'm reading all this from the Water Warships development blog, I'm going to post the link in the description down below, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so PT.9.6 balance changes. Please note that all information in the development blog is pre preliminary subject to change during testing. Any showcase features may or may not end up on the main server. The final information will be published on our game's website. Our piercing bomb damage of all aircraft carriers was lowered on average by 17%. And they give us a nice little table here with the exact values. So, I'll go through that real quick. Hosho, old value 3000, new value 2500. Ryujo, stock bombs, old value 5500, new value 4600. Ryujo, researchable bombs, and the Shokaku uh, stock bombs, 6100, new value 5100. Uh, Shokaku, researchable bombers, 7600, new value 6200. Hakuru, stock and researchable bombs, was uh, 8200. New value 6800. Enterprise, old value 5900, new value 4900. Graf Zeppelin, old value 7000, new value 5800. God dang, that another nerf to Graf Zeppelin. Graf Zeppelin has just been like thrown into the dirt so many times with, the, with these global nerfs. AP bombs are more skill demanding for successful use than HE bombs, but their efficiency is higher if used correctly. The updated aircraft carrier constitutes a relatively young class in the game, and most players have only recently learned how to use AP bombers co uh, correctly. Consequently, the overall damage dealt by this type of armament has become too high. We, therefore, decided to systematically lower the maximum damage of AP bombs, but without lowering their penetration. We will watch the individual performance of the ships and will take additional actions if needed. Uh, some other changes down here. Uh, tier 8 Shikaku, armor penetration of researchable bombers, bombs increased by 8%. Graf Zeppelin, and of course Graf Zeppelin B. Aiming reticle reduction speed increased by 15%. Uh, Nicholas, Farragut, Mahan, Benson, Fletcher, and Gearing. Bonus to A continuous damage from the defensive A. Fire consumable increased from 50% to 75%. And Venezia, the angle at which the check for ricochets is made for her sap shells decreased from 75 to 70 degrees. Main battery guns reload time increased from 20 to 20.5 seconds. Rudder shift time increased from 11.6 to 12.6 seconds. Engine boost modification 1 upgrade. Bonus to the action time of the consumable reduced from 50% to 40%. So, um, okay. This global nerf to AP bombs, um, I have very mixed feelings about it. Because it definitely needed to be done on a per ship basis. The Hakuru, um... If you played Clan Wars last season, you, you probably have a new, just, rene um, deep, 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 deep hatred, hatred for the Hakuru. Because the Hakuru could easily, uh, just erase half your ship's health in Clan Wars. 25-5, 25,500 damage in one salvo. Which, some people said, well, you can do that in battleships and stuff. Yes, you can do that in battleships, but it requires a lot more skill and a lot more screwing up on the other play on the other on the uh, enemy players part in order for you to do 25,500 damage to an enemy ship the amount of times I've done that level of damage in one salvo to an enemy ship they were either one completely oblivious that I was there even though I was detected because uh, you're in a battleship and unless you're in like the, the uh, conqueror you're going to be detected um they were either completely oblivious to me, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, or it was late in the game where they simply just couldn't angle against every enemy ship and I got at their side, or I managed to sneak up on them and they just didn't have time to react, which, again, that's more skills required pulling that off than just lining up the aiming reticle on a C... I'm not saying there's no skill involved. There is skill involved in playing carriers, but there's more skill involved getting that level of damage off playing a battleship than doing that in a carrier. And again, 
in order for the, for you to do that level of damage in a battleship, the other guy has to either just be completely boned in a, uh, in a situation, or he just has to be, I don't know, just paying no attention at all to where you're at, or just uh, botting or something, just to where he's not even aware of a situation, to where he's just giving you his broadside, and that's that. <sighs> With the Hakuru, again... You guys saw in the I think they, I think I put, I put like two Clan Wars videos out because people don't really watch Clan Wars content that much. I mean, you guys saw the carriers were just chunking um, ships for half their health, quarter of their health in one run. Because even if they didn't do twenty five five to you with the whole crew, they could still easily just erase a quarter of your health. Even if you're surrounded by AA. If you got DFAA on, it didn't really matter. If they wanted to get through to you, they could get through to you. And there wasn't a lot you could do about it. Now, the Graf Zeppelin, I really don't think this should really be applied to the Graf Zeppelin. Because that ship is so just... <sighs> nerfed. And, I mean... If it wasn't the, uh, was it the Implacable, the Indomitable, the Tier 8 Premium, uh... British Carrier. If it wasn't for that carrier... Graf Zeppelin would be the worst tier 8 carrier. And it's a premium. And it's a premium that's getting nerfed. Now, Enterprise is getting dark with, nerfed, which is a very good thing. That thing's been need to get nerfed. But since it's a premium, they can't nerf it individually. I, I do hope that when they see the results of this nerfed even, even further Graf Zeppelin, they do give it a bit more love with its AP bombers. Now, they did decrease the, uh, I'm sorry, increase the aiming reticle reduction speed for the Graf Zeppelin, which I guess that's nice, but it uh, still doesn't matter, because now the, the bombs have been nerfed even further. Which, granted, the bombs weren't that, well, the bombs were great on the Graf Zeppelin, and then they became not so great when they changed the diving style of the bombers, and now they're nerfing the damage that, that, that they do, because at least before, if you could manage to get one Citadel off on the Graf Zeppelin, you could get 7,000 damage done, uh, done on it. If you got two Citadels, you get 14,000 damage, whereas the Enterprise, you could still remove, I think, uh, in yesterday's video, in the Enterprise clip, I did like 24,000 damage to, uh, what was it, a Buffalo in one run? So, yeah, there's that. Now, um, the Venezia, that's also a response to Clan Wars as well, because... If you guys didn't watch any of the Clan Wars videos, the teams, once you got past, like, Gale and into Storm, the teams, it was one Hakuru and six Venezias, and maybe a Stalingrad here or there. That was the teams for Clan Wars. And, yeah, Venezia and Clan Wars was super strong, because it doesn't have a whole lot of downsides in that situation. And these are all, everything that, that they're changing here, that's all that was uh, being taken advantage of. In Clan Wars, so her sap shells again, it was just oh god, the toxic sap was so toxic in Clan Wars. And I mean, like, I was playing Stalingrad and even Bow on Stern on, still getting chunked for like 9k, 10k dam uh, damage. And god forbid you slip up and show them like a little bit of angled broadside, and now you're eating 14k salvos from. Sap, so that, uh, it, it, I, I do think the Venezia nerfs are pretty warranted. So they decrease the, the ricochet angle. Um, the reload time got increased by 0.56. The rudder shift time, that was a big one too. Because Venezias were so damn maneuverable that they could just like just roadrunner out of any situation that they were in with their smoke. And the rudder shift time, 11.6 seconds, that thing could freaking drift. And now I am glad that, they, that got nerfed a little bit. So, that's my thoughts on this set of changes, but now, right when I was recording this, they released another set of changes. So, here we go. Uh, ST.9.5.1, changes to test ships. Please note that all information in the development blog is preliminary and subject to change during testing. Any showcase features may or may not end up on the main server. The final information will be published on our game's website. So, uh, German carriers, Rhine, Visser, August von Parzival, Manfred von Richthofen, I can't talk to this morning. Increased accuracy with secondary battery is now similar in parameters to the Massachusetts. Hmm. Changed characteristics of attack aircraft for Rhein, Wieser, August von Parzival, Manfred von Richthofen, and Eric Lovenhaut. The height of attack was increased. Accelerated alignment of the site. 
Shorten preparation time for an attack. Uh, tier 4 from 5 to 4 seconds. Tier 6 from 6 to 3 seconds. Tier 8 from 4 to 2.5 seconds. Tier 10 from 4 to 2.5 seconds. Guaranteed ricochet angle for rockets increased from 60 to 70 degrees. Hmm. Rocket damage increased. Uh, Ryan and Visser from 1600 to 1700. August von Parzival and Eric Lovenhart from 2150 to 2350. Manfred von Richthofen from 2800 to 3100. German battleship uh, Pommern, tier 9, that's the Ludendorff. Sigma parameter reduced from 1.8 to 1.6. Aww. Main battery gun reload time increased from 32 to 33 seconds on 15 inch guns. What? What? Okay. Slava, everyone's favorite tier 10. Main gun reload time increased from 32 to 33.5 seconds. Characteristics of the shells have been changed. AP shell damage has been reduced from 13,450 to 12,100. Ballistics and ah, uh, ballistics and armor penetration have not changed. Okay. Franklin D. Roosevelt. The characteristics of the attack aircraft have been changed. The height of flight was increased. Rocket flight time has been increased. The attack time was reduced from 7 to 5 seconds. The delay between rocket launches has been reduced. The uh, attacking flight now fires all rockets almost simultaneously. The shape of the side has been changed. Now the ellipse is horizontal. The all comes out of the Roosevelt attack aircraft, which included an elongated vertical ellipse side and sequential missile drops, proved to be ineffective against most targets. Therefore, we changed the attack mechanics and the shape of the site of the aircraft carrier attack aircraft to make them more comfortable to use. However, the extended flight time of the missiles to the target, as well as the long distance between the squadron and their site, which requires attack aircraft to start an attack at a considerable range from the target, will not allow Roosevelt to become excessively effective against destroyers. Okay, that was a big old paragraph there at the end. Again, please note all information that the development blog's preliminary so to change, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so the German carriers just got a big old buff. Their secondaries are now accurate like the Massachusetts's, which has some of the most accurate secondaries in the game. If only they had bigger guns. I think they all have the uh, 105s. They don't have any 128s or 150s. I could be wrong, but just by looking at the uh, models. I haven't looked at any of the uh, detailed stuff on their secondaries, but it just looks like they have a bunch of 105s. Um, which I guess would be okay against DDs. So again, the um, attack time, the preparation for attack time was all decreased for the German carriers, and the ricoch the pin angles. It looks like they got a little bit of a buff there too, and their rocket damage damage was increased as well. The Pommern, man, they're already whacking this thing with the Nerf bat. So the the sigma was reduced from 1.8 to 1.6. Like, okay, I can see that. It's got 12, 15-inch guns with German pins. I can see that. But the gun reload time, like, a full second increased on the guns. So, a 32-second reload time on 15-inch guns. Now, it does have 12, 15-inch guns, but it's at Tier 9. And with the reload module, which I don't know who will be using the reload module on the main gun, since it is a German battleship, you should be building to secondaries. Now, 33-second reload on 15-inch guns at Tier 9. I'm not a fan of that. I hope they maybe reduce that to, like, 32.5. Um, but, man, that's that that's rough. Please don't please don't touch it too much harder, Wargaming. I mean, it's it already had, like, crap gun angles. I mean, it's an FDG with torpedoes. I get you and again, torpedoes, so I can see why, you know, you have to give up a little bit of reload time there, but, ah, uh, don't touch it anymore, please, just, just stop right here, please, <laughs> I'm begging you. Alright, Slava, again, 33.5 seconds, uh, increase in the main battery guns. Now, the, the change of the shell, it is good that they reduce the overall damage per shell, but again, it's the ballistics that's the big issue with the Slava, because it can just slap anything at long range. Now, yes, it's lost uh, 1,300 damage per shell, but still, I mean, it's still going to be able to just dunk on anything at range. Um, so until they mess with those ballistics and those um, parameters of the shells, it's still going to be a bit of an issue. But it is good. I think it's, you know, Slava doesn't do, was just insanely too good when they first released the concept of her. 
it, well, when they first released her as the Palbetta, and then they just changed the name to Slava and didn't really change much about it. But, okay, I like the change to Slava. I mean, I, I hate Slava already, but... <laughs> just the whole concept of a battleship that, you know, everything from the past year or so from Wargaming has been... We need to push. It, you need, we need BBs to push in closer. We need to get BBs to push in closer. Then the Slava comes out, which nobody's gonna want to get any, anywhere near that thing. Even though the best way to defeat it is to get near that thing, just the way that the uh, the uh, player base is gonna be at. They're just gonna want to run away from it, which ironically will make, give it the advantage. But do they? I do think those changes are good overall. Um, FDR. Okay, they're retooling the way it works. That that's what I got from. The FDR is a little spiel here. A lot, a lot of change of carriers in, the, in, in, in these two um, patch updates. But anyway, guys, that's what changes ha are happening. Again, this is all just preliminary stuff and could change overnight. But just wanted to keep you guys informed as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.